हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर लव एंड सपोर्ट हियर इज अ पार्ट थर्ड ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट एंड लिमिट दिस कार्टून स्केचेस वेर ड्रॉन बाय मी अर्लियर यूजिंग टैबलेट जस्ट टू शो एन एग्जाम्पल शी इज मामा शी इज टीना मीना आई विल टेक ए स्मॉल मीना एंड डीका टीना मीना डीका ओके सो मामा हैज थाउजेंड रुपीज टीना टेक्स फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज मीना टेक्स फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड डीका नथिंग इज लेफ्ट फॉर डीका सो dika is crying dika is crying this type of situation is happen with kubernetes also when first pod gets uh, pod skate uh, request fulfilled request fulfilled and nothing is left for another pod and there is uh, nothing is left for the pod some pods and those pod will go into pending so we have to take uh, request little seriously so what have now papa comes into picture papa thoughts if if mama gives everything to girls then what would be if there is an emergency mama should take at least 10% of money and in technical language it can uh, you can say is overhead overhead and uh, now 10% means uh, 100 rupees means now mama left 900 rupees for these three girls mama gives 300 now 10% overhead means 100 rupees now mama left 900 for girls so to share equal amongst all girls 300 300 300 will be given to all girls okay now every girl is happy dika is happy mina is happy and tina is also very happy so now all went to the dinner if all went to the dinner with one friend then whatever the money have will be divided by 2 means 150 expense will be of uh, that friend and 150 of that uh, tina like 150 for mina 150 for uh, her friend and here with dika also same situation 150 for dika 150 for her friend this is the scenario where parallel means this is the scenario of uh, multi container if two containers is there now with in it container what happen means like it's a race said so some complete half the race and then take and complete the race or running so the request uh, means 300 will be fine for her friend now 300 is here means whatever the maximum if it is 400 then resource would be the maximum 400 required so because in it com- container work is completed here no more resource required for in it container now resource required for this kind okay if earlier it is required 400 so whatever the maximum resource required will be considered for the schedule so uh i will create the pod accordingly uh, so that uh, you can have more clarity so i will open a clear coda platform a gate nodes uh, you'll find two nodes i'll deploy a scenario with uh, means what i had discussed for handed to tina for handed to mina and nothing left for dika so here i will uh, create a deployment with uh, you will find the yaml file uh, here in my by me coffee page with the ck in it container i will copy this uh, and create a yaml file now here i will make uh, resources like uh, request would be uh, 500 i will check how much resources available okay drive no node 01 here in allocatable only 125 is utilized so still left with the uh, 875 okay means year 1 is 1000 so 875 so what you will do echo dollar 1000 minus 125 space is very important sorry one uh this is 875 now 875 is there you have to uh so i will divide it by uh 3 so let's say 400 i will assign to tina 400 to mina and 125 to uh 75 to dika will automatically get because that is only left with uh, so i will make changes here so i will make cpu 500 uh, 400 400 and limit i will make 500 m and one more thing uh, replica i need to set to 3 i set to 3 here in it container is also need to change accordingly in this we have change in init container container this is in it container now we have to change in it in it container also 500 cpu is 400 here i am not worrying for memory but uh, you should practice with the memory and uh, cpu both 
let's check the result what happened but look this two pods is running and this third one is not ready it is pending if you check describe pod my app mx insufficient cpu okay now now i have to make it work so what i will do i'll just check k get k describe node node 0 1 so here you will see uh 925 okay means it is request is 925 so you have to 925 so my idea means my idea is here that uh, this i will make it little lower means uh, little font here you will see this is 125 means 1000 minus 125 875 so you need to manage three pod in 875 okay and uh, let's do calculation uh so here i can i'll make this uh now this fifth uh this 25 25 50 25 plus 25 this 25 50 50 you will say it's 125 here allocatable memory you will see one c one cpu is one means 1000 1000 1000 will take 10 percent overhead so it is 900 900 this is already occupied sorry uh, we have to check node 1 node 0 1 so it's 1 1 900 you have to manage but in 900 125 is already utilized so whatever what you left with is 5 8 sorry 5 7 775 approximately you will take uh, you'll take it 750 750 okay so it is it is direct, it is divisible by 3 and you will we will get 250 okay in uh, how do you calculate this in uh, uh, Linux. So we'll do echo dollar this uh, two sign this two now one thousand ten percent is hundred minus hundred now minus this is uh twenty five fifty fifty twenty five minus fifty space is very much required otherwise you will not get any answer fifty close the bracket you'll get seven seventy five I consider it at a seven hundred okay so 775 divided by 3 so it come to 258 so i will consider that 250 so so what could be the steps i need to scale it to zero i have to scale it to zero and this is it means okay i have done my calculation that uh, 250 is required for each uh, pod but uh, now k get deployment my deployment my apps and i will take this in yaml file uh sorry video is little slow because uh, cloud.yaml okay now i already said you with this command neo cloud grip and then hyphen i image or you can say container and image i'll type e here capital e so you can find uh, many here image so you'll you find there are init container and so you don't need to divide it okay equal you can uh, use so now you can edit or you can uh, change this yaml file and apply i will edit it okay so first scale it so i will simply write a command k scale deployment and deployment name is the my app and uh, hyphen hyphen replicas equal to zero now i will edit k edit deployment my apps now here you will have to take care of you need to just find resources you can slash limits it will directly go to the limit and there you can go to the cpu section you have to change the request only i search limits so that uh, we can go there you can type slash requests also but it is uh, longer word so now press i and i will make it 250 now for more oh, oh. now here 250 is there now we have to change in request also here also 250 250 and wq sorry before editing uh, you must save this yaml file because uh, something goes wrong wrong then you can always have a, a that file in backup in exam i always appreciate if uh, you would say uh, save backup now again scale replicas to 3 now k get deployment now k get pod you'll find this all is running so it is a little uh, tricky means uh, there are stepwise you if you go stepwise then uh, 
you will always be succeed uh, you will always be succeed don't be in a hurry as always first of all we save backup then scale then edit then do the things okay so uh here i will uh, wrap this topic if you are hitting the dislike button uh please drop a comment also uh so that i can improve for the next video uh thanks thanks for your love and support